okay my friends I see it's one more minute but let's do it let's do it welcome everybody to today's stream it's the weekend round today uh, and it's a Saturday uh, so uh, I just before stream I finished my weekend round so it's a pre-record weekend round I did decide that after the last one because I was so so tired after nine holes and um, I blame myself a bit for that, that I couldn't keep up and it didn't feel good any of the nine holes on the back nine. Today uh, I I wanted to do a better round, Not, yeah, of course I want to have a better score but in the end it's like I want to feel good when I'm playing then I need to rely of course on the luck in the end. So. Uh, welcome in here. I hope you can hear me properly, see me properly. I will put on the the first nine in just one minute, and then we will start from the beginning. Uh, so I hope everybody has had an awesome week, around. Huh? Sorry. And before we start, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Running towards five thousand subscribers on YouTube. That's just amazing for me and my team. It's much, much appreciated. I did upload a video uh, where I rate the wood clubs uh, from one to seven and go through them, uh, stating what I think is good with them and also what is bad with them. So check that out. That will be up on Facebook probably before I go to bed uh, or early in the morning. And uh, don't forget to hit that follow button on top. It's the heart button. Uh, on top, so uh, then you will be a follower. We are 1,217 last I checked actually. Uh, also, if you want to support the stream with a few bu a few bucks uh, a month, uh, hit that subscribe button and you can sub uh, subscribe for free with Amazon Prime. The the money that we get do go to improve the stream. Uh, so, okay my friends, uh, let's do it. I'm going to put on uh, the first nine. So wish me good luck and today I will be able to check the chat in the same time and I will be able to answer all your questions uh, in at the same time. And I think that's good. So uh, let's do it. I'm gonna shake it out here. I'm gonna open it, open it, open it. Where do we have it? Here do we have it. So here you can see it takes a uh, few seconds before it starts. Thanks a lot, uh, my friends. Uh, thanks a lot, my friends. Uh, I, uh, yeah, of course, I want to do uh, get the gold. You can see here now. I'm going to show you how it looks before I start. And you can see here now we have Alan from Golf Cash Elite, uh, who is in the lead with minus twenty seven. And when I saw minus twenty seven, it was like I can't go in in this round um, and. Uh, and I like think that, I, okay, now I must do a minus 28. I need to have a good start to be able to do a minus 28 because it's minus 14 front nine, minus nine, uh, 14 in the back nine. That's really, really hard. Uh, so my main goal before I started was to uh, give myself uh, a, yeah, a, a position uh, amongst top three, actually. Because it, it can just be um, applauding Alan. Uh, to do a minus 27 but of course if I get a good start then it's like yeah what then it's just go for it go for it so I hope you all have an awesome Saturday and I did restart the app uh, as you can see I will be uh, commenting um, at the same time it do also realize in the way that if I do get uh, tail or headwind on hole 6 and 15 it will of course help a lot uh, with uh, with some good wind on that one so let's start with hole number one yeah I've seen I saw that uh, Derek uh, seen a scorecard earlier minus 29 and rookie I saw that as well I haven't been anybody up on minus 30 30 but again it's like really hard uh, really really hard uh, I would say that in the masters if I would be playing expert, I think I would have a shot for minus 30 actually uh, with the clubs that I have. So yeah, uh, there is, I do know the first 
uh, first bracket, uh, it's minus 26 uh, as the first first position. And here we have minus 27. And I know that I will lose with the tiebreaker. So I need to do a minus 28. God damn it. Oh. So uh, we'll see here now. Uh, and uh, I do know because we played, uh, yeah, almost just replays uh, in uh, in the opening round so i know for exa uh, for example when i got luis i know what type of wind i will get i know i will be something around two, uh, 12.5 to 13 in wind and uh, even if you can see that he has zero in wind uh, it is not zero so it's just a visual glitch hi Ian. Good to see a lot of delete in my bracket, but also in, yeah. Uh, how did it go for you, Eric? Yeah, uh, minus 27, you will have to be at your very best, Tommy. Yeah, that's true. Uh, so I'll, <laughs> I need to do my very best, but I know I had that in me, uh, but everything needs to click, needs to click. But a realistic goal now in the beginning is to just take it hole for hole, if I do start uh, really good, I will of course chase that minus 28. Otherwise, it's important to get that banner, you know, to get one, two or third. It's so much more fun to see a silver banner or a bronze banner instead of just a regular banner. Here you can see we're having 12.2 sidewind. That's uh, definitely the worst way to play this hole, to have sidewind in that amount. And uh, I do adjust. A bit more to the side. I didn't use any side spin actually. I don't know why. I thought about it when I released the shot. I had six more seconds left. And I see now directly on the ball it goes like a bit more to the right than I than I would love to. But again, with that type of wind, I'm happy. Eric, get in and play. Get in and play. Minus to the 30, here we come. Didn't make it weekend round, got bullshitted so hard, feels bad man. Terrible lemon, what did happen then? Tell me. <laughs> yeah, and he ships this wide. Uh, and uh, for you guys who remember uh, since the opening round, this is exactly what happened here. I'm gonna grab my... And it's Saturday, we celebrate with a Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola, 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 Coca-Cola. Maybe we will be able to see a dance today. Yeah, Eric. Yeah, I can tell you for sure that you will get uh, if you get replays. You will get uh, in some way here. Birdie on the first hole. It's like the star. Of course, we want a hole in one, but with that type of win, we need to again be realistic. So now it's time for hole and number 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 ah. <laughs> number two, and I'm going to change to my sniper instead of having the guardian, and of course having the apocalypse instead of the quarterback. So it's time to go for hole and number two, and here I can say it do take a while for me to play hole two. Uh, even though, um, so, uh, so, um, yeah, it's because my daughter w woke up and I had to actually take all my equipment and lie in the bed. It, it felt kind of weird to have a computer, a phone and a tablet and try to get her to sleep at the same time because I couldn't like, couldn't pause it because I don't want it to uh to disturb the re uh, the um, uh, recording the recording so hitting perfect ships and missing i know it's the way the green is shaped but still feels bad man yeah, yeah i feel you man i feel you uh that's the worst part when you actually hit the ships uh, perfect and you actually feel that this one should be going in but you miss it slightly yeah we are we have all been there we have all been there. So here you can see you playing Joan. Um, and this one I actually can spoil because we do not get to play. Uh, for some reason, 
it is like uh, a lost connection or something. Had my first dunk today. I'll be well done. Congratulations. Congratulations. How did it feel? Yeah, my friends, don't forget to check out YouTube. Uh, yeah, when I'm not streaming, of course. Uh, you can see everything there. I, I will on Tuesday be uh, playing uh, playing the Road to, uh, Road to Glory episode 7. Trying to complete tool 6 and also go into tool, uh, tool 7 uh, on, on Tuesday. So I'm looking forward to that. And uh, then we'll have to see if there comes a new tournament the week after that again. But I think I will... What do you think, chat, really? Do you think that we should have like a friendly stream? uh the the next um next week like thursday or something or saturday just having some fun chilling uh maybe take a beer or something i don't have my daughter so it could be nice playing just friendly having fun so <laughs> but can't wait to next uh, tourney feels good man yeah and uh, tournament weeks for me it's like it is not stressful in the way, but it is much. I do the tournament guide that I love. Uh, and um, so, yeah. Then we, need, uh, then we maybe need to plan for that. Because we need a week now to relax, having some fun. Uh, it's so much focus when playing the tournament. So much focus on playing the tournament. I hate tool 6, missed it out on my guess I can finish tool 7 and making good ground in tool 8. Well done, Davik. Um, well done. Uh, I do love tool 6, actually. I do love the courses on tool 6. And now you can see we're back again. It doesn't take this long, uh, my friends, to get to play every hole. But this is was just in the beginning because my daughter did wake up. Uh... <laughs> Tommy Rusty Hollis have my beer now. Oh, you lucky dude. <laughs> I I feel actually when I do have my daughter, which I have um, all the time except for every other weekend, I do not drink anything. Because if there will be something that happens, I need to have my car. Uh, Ellen, not, not need to have my car. I, I need to be able to drive my car. Been a few weeks since we play friendless. Yeah, you are correct, Brian. So it seems like we need to do that. Having some fun. Many people requested that, and I have declined so many friend requests now this week. So I'm feeling feeling really bad. Beer. Now it's time to play Alan. Beer is good. Dr Pepper is good. No, uh, delete that Dr Pepe, Pepper right away. Right away. Yes, uh, hole number two is a par five. Definitely a chance to have an albatross we just lipped it out on in the opening round uh, but i do like this hole uh, and um, now when we have this type of wind i have changed the way that i play the hole since the opening round i do not overpower it i do use spin instead keeping it uh, keeping it controlled and uh, because I do want to find myself with the Goliath or the Sniper. Now let's see. Oh yeah. Uh, hitting the rough. Uh, so, uh, and we will absolutely be able to reach there. Tommy, how long you been playing? I've been playing this game since the beginning of March. I did max out after nine weeks. And I did max it out with an extra mile level Five combined with a sniper level seven. Those were my best clubs in the moment. Uh, I didn't have the Cataclysm or the Apocalypse unlocked. Uh, I didn't have the Endbringer unlocked. And not the Spitfire. I, didn't, I don't see... Maybe have some epic. But uh, yeah, uh, it didn't take that time. But still, the, the competition was uh, yeah, not that hard back then so it should take a few weeks more i feel i i believe uh see somebody said hi to me ketray 35 hi my friend welcome in here 
I shot an albatross on this hole. Good work, Janador. Now it's time for us to do the second shot. Now you can see we have exactly the same wind that we had the last uh, in the opening round. And then I used two in backspin, but went a bit too hard. So, but we are between clubs, but I do want to have uh, three in backspin. And it would, of course, be excellent to, to have uh, an... Um, um, I have an albatross on this one to start with. So, see here now. Uh, time to hit this one. Hit it perfect, at least give it a chance. Hitting it perfect. And let's do this, right? Let's do this, guys. We start with an albatross. Get in there. Get in the hole. Albatross. Let's do it. Yeah, my friends, this is pre-recorded. This is pre-recorded. I did play it just before uh, the stream did start. And this was uh, definitely a good start. So. Thanks a lot, my friends. Thanks a lot. <laughs> I, uh, I, I do. It's like I have an albatross. Uh, directly in the start, it's like it feels like minus four after two holes. Feels good, man. Feels good. So, uh, it's a cracking shot. Now you feel confident, you know. I win an albatross on hole two already. It's like now, now, now it's just to like take uh, take myself down, uh, take myself down, and and just play hole for hole. Um, let's see. I'm currently minus 14 off the 9 with an albatross on 2. No, he uh, holding one yet. Hopefully we can have one. Uh, well done, Tommy. Uh, yeah, awesome, Josh. Keep it going. Minus 14 off the 9. That's excellent. Uh, and uh, thank you for the well done. And Alvio, of course, that's, uh, that was beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. So, playing hold 3. It's, uh, it's a part 5. And now it's like, uh, continue to to play, just in the mood, be in the zone. It's so important when you find yourself with a really good shot and you get the luck to get it in. Then it's uh, absolutely important to keep that going. And as you can see, we are continue to playing a replay. Tommy, I albe this hole in the qualifying uh, qualifying round. Well done, my friend. Well done. Must have helped you tremendously. Uh, I it does help with an albatross because there is not many people that do an albatross. Rio Pirop, or how I pronounce it. Hello, Tommy. Hi, man. Or woman. <laughs> Welcome in here. So, my friends, don't forget to hit that follow button on top. Be a follower to stream. Playing the Masters Division and the weekend round in the Labor Day Tournament. 6.5 uh, headwind, need to max this one out, max topspin with also slight bit of uh, side spin to the left. Yeah, but still man, minus 11 is really good. Really good. Uh, only holes you don't want replays are six and nine. But still, we did play Ryan. Uh, if you remember the opening round, uh, I played hole. What was it? Hole fifteen. I got some some great win, a really great win, uh, and uh, but blew it anyway. Raf nineteen sixty seven. Thanks for hitting that follow button, my friend. Welcome uh, to the team, and do like Raf hit that follow button. And be a follower to the stream. Yay! <laughs> nice pronunciation. Yeah, yeah, but I, it's like my words get so blurry <laughs> sometimes. Our opponent does hit it to fairway as well. And uh, now it's time for us to, to do our second shot. And this is absolutely... Uh, this is a really, really, really hard, 
uh, hard shot to make an albatross on because you can't see the ball guy directly into the hole and that you can do in um, on hole 2 for an example. Uh, how is he doing so far? I'm doing minus 4 of the 2, 1 birdie and 1 albatross and this is hole number 3. So good start. So and for you people that are new in here, this is... Um, this is a pre-recorded version. I did play it two hours before the stream, so that's we, that's why I was delayed uh, because it took some time <laughs> to play. Um, I'm happy with the shot that I do, as you can see, kind of close to the pin, uh, but not not really that really close, you know. But uh, it would be an uh, easy uh, easy eagle. One albatross sounds great. Keep it up. Yeah, I will. I will do my best. I'm doing my best. I'm chasing. I'm chasing. I still need to uh, remember that. Play my game and uh, be humble about it. Yes, uh, if you do have Facebook and uh, search for a community on Facebook, and check out Golf Clash Elite. Uh, the number one community in Golf Clash, uh, and um, there is um, uh, absolutely other communities as well that is uh, that give uh, that I can give the thumbs up to. Uh, but um, my heart like pump a bit harder for Golf Clash Elite, as you guys know. The guy winning in my group is minus twenty six and started he uh, holding one Alba Eagle. Holy crap! Uh, that was a really good start, but then I can say minus 26 is not that good of a score. It must have struggled it up. Eagle, my friends, and uh, now my uh, now my opponent, uh, because it's a replay, went far, will aim st straight into the hole with 12.3 in wind and miss that shot. So, um, I don't want to spoil, but we have seen this one had the same one in the qualifying round as well, and the same round, the same thing in the opening round as well. How has it been going for you all? I just know Josh how he has been going, and I know a few others, but maybe I missed a few. So, yeah, missed that shot, uh, and uh, that was. That missed, you know, you have 12.6 in wind and you aim directly in, into the hole. Kyle is in mine with minus 26. Oh, and Josh, my friend, uh, that's that will be a tough one. Uh, but yeah, I heard him say that he will uh, not win if it goes to tiebreaker. Hole number four, and this was a hole that we struggled a lot on in the, uh, in the opening round and were actually a bit lucky to be able to birdie uh, both of the times uh, so yeah this it's an important hole. every hole is important yeah i think kyle said like if he's not going to win in, in expert or like top three or something he's going to smash his phone <laughs> i don't know what i want to happen actually <laughs> So yeah, so yeah, so yeah. Yeah, come on then, give us an opponent. And that's the thing, we need to wait like 60 to 90 seconds before we get a new opponent. But uh, yeah. Did you ever hole in one this one? Uh, I've hole in one it several times, but that has been from the second tee. Our opponent goes first. Uh, this is my first tournament on the pro side and I ended up with minus 21. At the moment I'm sitting on fourth place, but I don't think that will hold up. I'm still happy with minus 20, 21. Thank you, Tommy, for the club guide. You're welcome, Victor. Uh, you're uh, very much welcome. And um, that's good. Uh, first tournament, solid to get to the weekend round. Definitely solid to do a good score like that. And then you will be pumped for the next one, I guess. Uh, that was the hole I missed on the back nine, or I would have been minus 24. Yeah, man. 
Um, it is a hard hole. Uh, it's most definitely a hard one. I um, I do not like it. Uh, I do not like it from the third tee. I don't know why, but uh, um, so yeah, you can see here now aiming it up on the right side uh, and using almost max uh, spin, using two and backspin. And um, yeah, uh, now it's time to aim, aim ourselves up here. And this is one where I have slight a bit of tailwind and it's not in expert, for example, you do not use your driver with uh, when you have tailwind, mo tailwind most of the time. And I do a slight bit of curl to left, hitting that one perfect. And I see now directly, and this one will go way left. <sighs> hate this hole. Hate it. Right now, I hate it. Uh, so yeah, uh, find myself up in the rough, and um, yeah, I can say like this: it's like the reason I go up to the rough is two reasons. One, I do use slight a bit of curl to the left, which means that the ball will take the road into the wind, and um, into the wind, and get a little bit more speed. Number two, I use. Uh, to yeah one bar uh, less side spin than i uh, need to do tommy have you ever lined up a shot and adjusted for the wind only to find the wind didn't affect the ball flight at all yeah many of the times and um, then that uh, is something that you need to learn i go for the dunk i've started to do that as you saw in the qualifying round because now i know i can hit it great and uh, and uh, still uh, ship it in and yeah, and I need to hit it great. Oh, I still hate to see this one. I still hate to see this one. <laughs> That's so ridiculously bad, you know? That's really, really bad. And you can just feel uh, I can just feel myself uh, cooking and lying in the bed. So uh, I did miss that one. And now the advantage that we had uh, is gone, basically. And now we need to uh, get back. And now it's like I did get an albatross on hold 2. And a par now on hold 4. But now it can't let me affect. It can't affect me. Uh, but I know if I just hit that one great, I would sink that one in. I do not hit my shot good. I do not hit my shot good. And this uh, shootout, I just really don't care, you know. Uh, because I need to just play this one quick, get the frustration out of my body. Um, and uh, yeah, but it's not over yet. So... Uh, yeah, I see you guys also uh, did miss uh, a few dunks on it. And yeah, many, many people did lose uh, some shots on that hole. Uh, and um, But I can't do that. If I want to win, I can't uh, miss that shot. But again, we are going for a banner. We have minus 27 to beat. I need to do minus 28. It's still possible, you know. Uh, most frustrating tournament for me, minus 20, I ended up with not happy. My friend, you will get it the next time. Uh, sometimes you play a tournament where, uh, and the tournament doesn't suit suit you. And you need to fight and fight and fight and fight. For a good score. And um, I, there has been two tournaments I've been fighting uh, and couldn't really find the feeling for it. And uh, uh, and uh, in that way, you do often not end up in the top. Uh, knock your table one more time, Tommy. It's affecting the microphone. You're only coming out of the left speaker at the moment. 
<laughs> I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. It wasn't my intent to. But I do get so frustrated just for watching that one. It was really, really bad. But now it's to yeah, drop that one, play hole 5, par 4, still have a really good chance because we had Albatross on hole 2, so we are not down one shot yet. So that's important to know. I feel the best tournament yet was the Sunshine Open. Yeah, uh, I would uh, I would say it should have been uh, that, but that one was one of the worst tournaments in the way with the wind. So uh, and um, because you do, uh, so many people uh, got good wind, and um, so many people did get bad wind, and um, that was also that was when I was in uh, at played MX office. I know, but otherwise I love Southern Pines, the holes in there, I really love them. First Masters tournament, really, uh, yeah, really lovely one. A few uh, new people in here today playing the Masters round uh, in the Labor Day tournament. It's a pre-recorded version, I did play that a bit earlier today. Uh, so. You can see, uh, finding ourselves with some uh, tailwind, and now it's time to unleash the berserker to try to get uh, go to that spot. And this one will be exactly the same for me as I would be playing this one on expert because I have the extra distance with the berserker. So this is not a, r a risk shot for me. Uh, I've done it so many times. I do need to overpower it, and I can't hit it uh, anything less than than great. Hitting that one perfect. And bouncing it there. Really good shot. Really happy with the drive. Like bombs away. I like this one on 211 actually. It's funny with a berserker ball. I know Kyle went like over green almost on that one. Uh, on uh, So that was awesome. It was awesome. If you do have any questions, my friend, uh, friends, about anything about the game or anything about me, just speak up in chat. I will be happy to answer you. <laughs> this one is actually, I know many people hate this one. And uh, it's because you it's hard to uh, make your ball stay on the green. But since I learned how to dunk, actually, uh, yeah, not dunk and dunk, but uh, close to the green dunk, I have not had any problem with it. Uh, Tommy, uh, how long have you been speaking English and why did you want to learn it? Uh, it's uh, a ground element in school, so you do, uh, you do learn it from the beginning. Uh, no, not from the beginning, from third grade in school. Uh, you start to read a bit English uh, and you do that every year. You have a course that is called English in school and uh, all the way through high school as well. So, um, so yeah, me, Batman one. Thanks for following the stream, my friend. Uh, and the reason that we learn English is because it's, uh, it's because we do, um, yeah, I think it's important to know because you uh, you can talk to so much more people and get involved so much more. Uh, I won't read your question again, and I can say uh, it's fifty percent true. Uh, <laughs> I did miss that shot uh, hard with that type of wind. I wanted to go straight to the hole, and I know uh, it's not good to roll off the green, but this will be an easy ship for me. Why do you not like Dr. Pepper? I'm a pepper, you're a pepper, wouldn't you like to be a pepper too? Oh my god, many pepper there. I did taste it when I was in UK and uh, it was terrible. It tasted terrible. Uh, Ian's fault. So, yeah. Uh, now Riv calls me, I was gonna... Hey man, I'm streaming, you know? Yeah, get in there. Get in, in the chat. So, yeah. And okay, but I can't talk. I will call you later, okay? Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, bye. <laughs> that was Riv. 
ladies and gentlemen. Uh, how do you dunk close to, to the green? Um, it's like I've learned that from several people, especially Brandon, that taught me to just, like you can see here now, just put it directly into the cup and just hit it in. So uh, it's not the hard one in that way. Uh, do you guys think it would be a good idea for the developers to add a clan system? Let me explain like we would all join a clan and maybe do like a Ride of Cups and again so now I think it would be cool what do you th all think. I l love it. I love that idea. Uh, I would sign on to that directly, you know. I, um, I would love to have a team or be a member of a team and I just feel like that's a step golf club will take when the time is right <laughs> sorry Tommy this last part was uh, from a really old commercial <laughs> yeah I have a, I have ever never heard it <laughs> yeah and you and thanks a lot for the nice birdie my friends uh, I I um, and they dunk that one in. I normally do that uh, in that city. It doesn't matter what type of wind you have, it works either way. So, uh, hole and number five, and we are minus seven. Uh, one albatross and one par. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. So, it's time for hole and number six. <laughs> Thought we were a team, t team Tommy. Sorry, moderators, we are. Of course, we are a team. I meant like in the game, you know, playing together. Yeah, I want to be able to see what country my opponent is from, like a flag in their profile or something. I'm from Sweden. I like ABBA, IKEA, meatballs. You know. Oh, yeah, I, I actually think that that could be a nice addition. I know for a fact there is one dude or girl from uh, the UK that hit that dislike button on my YouTube videos. And it, um, yeah, I, for some reason, I want to know what, why, you know, why always a person from UK. I don't know, something I've done, maybe. Uh, Tommy, you're becoming the donkey machine. <laughs> Rusty, no. I'm not the donkey machine. Uh, but I have changed my game a bit to easing it up. Give me Tailwind. Of course not. So, uh, and here you can see we are not able to reach over here. So it's to change the way. Uh, and use max backspin and topspin. Hi Tommy, live from the Johan Cruyff Arena, Ajax just won 3-0, 2 goals from Huntelaar. Well done, congratulations to Ajax. Uh, which uh, team did they win against? Klaas Jan Huntelaar, didn't he like playing Real Madrid for a while? Or am I just mistaken? How much do you allow for the wind when you are dunking a shot or does it matter? Uh, oh, close. Does it not matter? It depends on how far you are from the cup. And I do only do dunks when I am close to the cup because then I know it's basically to just aim it directly into the hole. Other the other parts I'm not that good at, not sure at at least. I must say, Tommy, I like that you pre-recorded this so you could chat with everyone. Thank you, man. I know some people want me to play it live, but I need to be realistic as well. Um, I when I played the opening round, I was so tired. So tired for for the back nine. It was and it wasn't fun. I I love you guys and uh, have so much fun playing uh, playing and chatting with you. But it's not fun when I get too tired. I need to just fight and fight and fight when I know that I could do so much better when I'm just focused. <laughs> Mina, you still d don't have a command. But hey, Mina. <laughs> Tommy, don't worry about the ha that hate from the UK. We like you here in Texas. Awesome. Thank you, Victor. How is it with the weather in there? Swole, they played. Okay, yeah. 
but shouldn't they win that kind of easily? But I, I'm sorry, I'm not that. I I'm really into football, but uh, uh, yeah, when I do play uh, as I do and with golf clash, it's like I do miss a bit in the football world. This is this like you may have been your good friend. Um, I don't know, but it is what it is, really. I do try my best to make everybody happy, but you can't make everybody happy all the time. So yeah, I went into the rough. I tried to go over to f find myself with a, a short iron to the pin. Uh, and now I have a rough iron for the pin and this shot will uh, would be a similar hard to ship in as it would be with the long iron or with the uh, with the wood club. Uh, why did you overpower first shot almost went in the rough? When I do have headwind on that one uh, and um, and now when I'm from 30, I take the decision to overpower that shot because I want to get as close to the rough as possible. That makes my second shot be so much uh, easier. And if I do put myself into the rough, it wouldn't be a problem for me to reach to the bunker and then put uh, have a long iron from there. Well, uh, sorry, a uh, wood club from there. Uh, but of course, if I would have been having side wind or tailwind, I would be trying to go over. Uh, will you play some games live after this uh, this tournament is over? Not today, James. Uh, not today. This will be a stream that will. Uh, we are just on hole six at the moment, and we will be. I will be playing eighteen holes. But on Tuesday, it's time for Road to Glory uh, again, episode seven. And then on Thursday, I don't know what we will do. Maybe Road to Glory again, or just playing some regular tools by request. And then on Saturday, I think we're going to have a friendly stream. Oh. Pop, 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 close. Close. So, uh, kind of close actually to ship that one in with the rough iron. And uh, the thing is, I hit that one perfect and it uh, was in my balls that I really couldn't hit that one great on hole four. It just reminds me, you know? What do you think, my friends, of me coming to United States next year? Would that be something that you would like? How long have you come in Road to Glory? To six? Yeah, I've, I've, I'm a few games from maxing out to six on Road to Glory. I shipped in on this hole to save my butt as I hit the bunker on the front nine. Um, yeah, that's really, really good, man. Really, really good. Well done. Uh, what are usually the time gaps between the next tournament? It is like two to three weeks. So, yeah. <laughs> you know it, Riv. You know it. Welcome in here. He's alive. Live from Italy. Riv Bernardini. Oh, maybe not Italy, but live... Mm, an Italian live from uh, from uh, state the states. <laughs> it would be awesome, you know. United States is uh, it's kind of big. It's a bit bigger than Sweden. Uh, it's a bit um, uh, bigger than Sweden, but. <laughs> Uh, so it will not be possible to be in all the states, but we need to sort something. It would be awesome to have the first Gold Clash, um, what is it called? Gold Clash Getaway. Can I, could it be called like that? Would be awesome. Sorry, Tommy, I can only watch your stream live 7 a.m. in the land down under. Why are you sorry, man? I'm just happy that you can be able. It's like 7 AM is really early, so I much appreciate that you can watch. I can't normally watch the stream. Oh, oh, now I understand. I saw the can. I can't. Yes, okay, but then welcome in here, my friend. It would be awesome. Hello, not would be. It is awesome. Hole number seven, my friends. 
Uh, it's a part four. I like this part four. It's a short one, uh, and you can basically do a mistake and even save a birdie. If you come to see Riven, Oklahoma, it's just a short drive for what I know, most of us in here. <laughs> yeah, of course, that we will sort out. Everybody that is close. Now, how did ha that happen? Time expired. Tarsand underscore jungles. Uh, thanks for following the stream, my friend. Welcome and do like Tarsan. Hit that follow button and be a follower to the stream. Yeah, Lucas Bertolo. Bertolo. Thanks for following the stream, my friend. Welcome. Yeah, when the time expires, it means like, uh, that the opponent or me, myself, have taken all the 30 seconds and then it means that you lose a shot. You should go to Georgia during Masters week and tell them you're there for the Masters division. <laughs> yeah. I go right on this hole. Uh, and it depends on what type of wind you get. Uh, I do not go on that side if I do not have Tailwind. Uh, and we do not get Tailwind. And the reason for that is I don't want to risk to go out of bounds. So... Here now, now I know it's a maxed overpower shot to get over that rough and bunker to put myself up for a shipping possibility. I tried to watch that YouTube video as uh, possible though, hitting that like, awesome my friend. And that goes for everybody that uh, would love to do that. Please hit that like button on, uh, if you do watch a video on YouTube, please hit that like button as well. It means a lot to me and it, uh, it rates my, if you do a comment or like, the video or both it rates my videos in the way that it gets higher up in the feed on YouTube which makes that I would get more views and maybe I can earn a few bucks of it so that would be much appreciated if you do see Riv I wouldn't mind shipping in some money to rent or our venue for a gathering yeah it would be awesome Josh and I will of course pay it together with you would uh, would just be amazing. Would be so cool actually to do it. Okay, and time for us focus now. Uh, and this is absolutely a great chance. But yeah, <laughs> between clubs, and I know I need to adjust more, so I need to stick with the Goliath um, to try to find a good solution for this. I do rather would like to have a short iron on that one. Um, I really do. I really do. So, and the short iron, it's like, I know the adjustment for the short iron. I actually don't know the adjustment to 100% on with the Goliath, so, but I will give it a go. <coughs> so, perfect, and then that one. And it bounce, and it bounce, and get in the hole, guys. Get in the hole. Yeah, we ship it in. Ooh. Yay. Awesome. Awesome. Back on track. Ship that one in for an eagle. Ship that one in for an eagle. That was awesome. I really like that shot. That was actually, in in my book, it was perfectly executed. Uh, thanks a lot, guys. Uh, with that amount of uh, side spin combined with backspin, it is really hard to get that straight line. Uh, but I'm really, really happy. So an eagle getting up to minus ten after seven holes. So now we are back on track, and um, yeah, now we're back on track. So, changing to the Guardian. And also changing to the Rocket. Now we need backspin, backspin, backspin. On hole number eight. 
I don't like to overpower with driver, I'm always afraid to shoot out of the fairway. Yeah, I don't like it either, but sometimes you do come in a situation that uh, when you must. And when the risks are kind of small, that even if you do miss the perfect button, you will do a decent drive either way. So yeah, maybe I should find, didn't I buy something? Oh, maybe I can do some pop. No, I don't have any more popcorn. I want to have popcorn. So, uh, playing Fred, uh, so still just playing replays in this tournament, but again, it actually doesn't matter. It was just on hole 6, we do wanted to have some, um, some uh, yeah, tailwind, but we did get back a headwind instead. So, uh, now we're using the rocket, and uh, max backspin on the rocket to try to get that one uh, to bounce and slightly bounce down into the hole. It's a really hard shot, but I think this way to approach the green is way more easier than going on that fairway spot in the bunker. And you remember that from the opening round when we did make a par, hitting that one perfect with a slight bit of curl, max backspin, not close to the hole in one, uh, but uh, yeah. Easy birdie. I'm 25. So I'm 25. I'm one of the youngest I can see. So maybe I do look all older because I'm a dad and I'm uh, tired all the time. But uh, yeah. Rusty, do you feel like 21? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Maybe. I know Ian. Ian Hall. Uh, he, he turns 60 like... In two years, I think. Yeah, I think he's 58. I think so, yeah. Yeah, man. Uh, it's like in expert. And also on uh, pro and rookie. I would do that all the time as well. But when you have headwind on uh, on Masters. From Masters T. You uh, will uh, switch, uh, change uh, to the driver. You will be in between clubs. And also the wind will affect the ball much more which makes it a lot harder. So then I go on the safe way. Oh, two more people in here that is 25. And now when everybody says their age, I would like to know what country you are from. And I start. I'm from Sweden. Where are you guys from? <laughs> Same here, Tommy. Lol, my boy is, boy is 50 months, always tired. Yeah, I almost, I always tired. It's like my daughter didn't want to sleep in this morning, but I wanted to. So she got my phone, so I got half an hour more. But yeah. Yeah, Sweden wins. Sweden. Everybody from Sweden. No, not everybody. So, a birdie on hole and num number eight. Time to get in and uh, awesome. Love to. I'm just checking the chats to see where everybody is from. <laughs> it's lovely. I, th I would. Uh, ah, too bad that I actually don't have my pen here. I would love to write down to maybe draw some lines with from where everybody are, are yeah are from so uh hold a uh, number nine part five last one on this uh, first nine <laughs> hi miguel from ibiza 
we Swedes go down there, not many people go down there to get drunk and maybe talk to ladies. Darby, yeah. I will do a kind of road trip in the UK, not in the whole UK, but um, I don't know when, but it will be done. Uh, I know there were many people that wanted to um, to meet up with me when I was down, down there, uh, meeting up with Playdemic, so uh, I, uh, I'm looking forward to that. Yoki Burns, but on Tuesday I will be in Crete for a week's holiday. I don't know if I'm... Uh, I, I do want to hit that dislike button. Uh, I, <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I want to go there as well. Uh, hi, Alan. Welcome in here. Uh, Tommy, do you know if Dick is playing Masters? I know he is. <laughs> and I actually have a surprise for you guys with Dick in the end. So stay tuned. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, it cracks me up directly, actually. Cracks me up. Yes, we are planning a road trip. UK bound. Bound? Yeah, we do, Ian. We do. We will do it. Will be awesome. Yeah, hitting that drive on fairway. We're close to the rough in the beginning, but this... Uh, I'm happy with the drive in the middle of the fairway. Will not be hard to get to... Uh, to green with horrible headwind this is a hard hard one uh, <laughs> I didn't get any dick matches this morning I did have a match I won so uh, but now we're not talking about golf clash but I will stay on topic on topic um, but yeah, it will be interesting to see in the end, man. <laughs> so, hitting that one. Now, I'm gonna go onto the green using max backspin. Uh, <laughs> no problem, Josh. <laughs> no problem. Uh, so Max Backspin, and absolutely a chance to to eagle Ella to Albatross this one. So um, yeah, it would be awesome. Yeah, four, three. Two, one. You can see I, I many times I do hit my ball on um, um, uh, on the last second or two last second because I take the time to adjust and aim up. I was a bit uh, way because if I do didn't uh, gonna use the two side spin, maybe just one that would have been closer. Uh, but yeah, it wasn't close actually. But I gave it a shot, easy eagle uh, to end this first nine. I will be planning a route. I will let people know when and will need messages so I can plan as many as possible. Jockey Burns and that it was Ian Hall who wrote the message. Yeah, mate, I'm looking forward to it. I'm really looking forward to it. It will be awesome. The king, my brother is in the house. Are you drunk yet? Okay. So, uh, our opponent hits this one onto the green. <laughs> that's that's right, man. Good that somebody is at least. Okay, vinner du då eller? Är den vinst på gång? Ja, han krossar dig. 
our opponent will miss this one to the right. So uh, first nine minus 13 on first nine with a par and with headwind on hole six. I'm kind of sad that I did get the par, you know, seeing now with uh, a birdie um, and um, that would have been minus 14. But now I need to do a minus 15 to win 